out there. There sure is. Harry, please, I've got to see you. inside the saucer and his basement. Well, uh, uh, Tell him, Harris. I, I, um, it was, was just like what Mrs. Green saw last spring. Mrs. Green? Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, they, they were scaly, like <laughs> lizards or something. And uh, they were peeking through the windows uh, through their one big eye. One eye? Yeah, right one here. Eye. In the center of your head. It wasn't scaly, Harris. Max, it was Max, bumps. please they be patient, scales. okay? Bumps. I'm going to fix your breakfast in a minute. Scales. Bumps. Well, when Miss Green saw scale. Now, Miss Green's saw. getting senile. I think you're getting senile, uh, too. Thank you both for your vivid description. The scene here at Paradise Cove can best be described as frantic. This small coastal town was stunned early this morning when a brilliant Wait a orange satellite object appeared over the cove and plucked two men from the pier. Both local and federal officials are combing the site of the abduction for a possible clue to the origin of the mysterious craft and are trying to discourage flying saucer stories until their investigation is complete. Most witnesses describe the object as being orange in color and comprised of two saucer objects stacked on top of one another. One thing is certain, a reddish beam came down from the center of the saucer and enveloped two unidentified men who were standing on the pier. My witness watched in horror as the men seemed to disappear inside the beam. When the beam disintegrated, the men were gone. More to come later on this extraordinary sighting. This is Sandy Smoker reporting for KMS-TV, Paradise Cove, California. Hmm. Paradise Cove, that is only 20 minutes away from here. I don't know why Oscar didn't call us, too. Ma Max! You know, it's a good thing those folks on the TV can't see the things that you do. They'd figure you were from Mars, too. I gotta fix something for the both of us, you know. Excuse me. Excuse me, I'm looking for Oscar Goldman. He's with the OSI. Can you tell me where he is? Sorry, ma'am, but you'll have to move on. Look, I'm a very good friend of his, so if you could just tell me. Move on, ma'am. Hey, where do you think you're going? I told you about that before. Why, why did it have to happen? I don't know, Mama, I don't know. We'll find them. No, we won't. It's because of that project. They didn't want us to do what they didn't want Ray to do. Uh, would you like a cup of coffee, maybe something to eat? No. There's something that I have to do. Would you be OK, Norma? I was watching this circus on television, and uh, I saw you, and I didn't even know you were in California. 
Oh, so your curiosity was aroused and you decided to come see me, huh? Oh, yes, that's true. What's going on here? Isn't that Bill Robbins over there with that woman? Yes, it is. Martians, the flying saucers. I know this is going to sound crazy, but there was something out there. I saw it. You saw it? Come on, ask. What'd you see? A flying saucer. Everything that these people are saying is true. A great big flying saucer. Oh, really? Well, wait, wait a minute. What about Bill Robbins? He, he's a UFO expert. Did he see it too? He hasn't got the faintest idea about it, but it was there. It was plain as day. It flew over them, and they disappeared. Disappeared? Yes. It was a beam, a light. It came out of the saucer. It lifted them right off the pier. Who? Ray Fisk and Rudy, Rudy Wells. Oh, my God. 